action. <laughs> so we're here today with another freebie promotion for you. If you look, and I let me pull this up so you can see it. If you look at the aprons we're wearing, Elizabeth created 25 of these. These are her Van Gogh foam stamps that she hand stamped. And someplace on here, is there a signature? Yeah, down on the pocket. Ah, there's a signature. So the way that this is going to work is that from February 10th, 2023 to February 17th, 2023, that's the promotional period. If you submit a qualifying order of $50 or more that's spent on products other than gift certificates, your order will automatically be entered in the giveaway. You can order as many times as you want during that period of time, and as long as they're qualifying, they will all be part of the drawing when we start to pull those 25 winners. So today, what we're gonna show you is how we played with the foam stamps. I created a card, and Elizabeth did something entirely different. She worked with, very deliberately chose transparent paint, and worked with some dictionary paper, and it's marvelous. It really is, and I'll let you talk. No, my it was a lot of fun. Away with me. Yeah, but still, that was a lot to memorize. She's not even using a, a, a teleprompter. No. She's just winging it. We should have a teleprompter. And she hates winging me. it. I hate winging it. She hates, she's so mad at me, she's stepping on my foot right now. It seemed like fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun with the foam stamps, and it's been a while since we have used them. And it's been a while since we've used them, so it was kind of fun to revisit them. Yes, and we're up at the airport in Sedona, if we didn't say that in the beginning, and I don't think that we did. So that's the red rocks you see behind us. The wind is blowing. There's the occasional plane taking off. But this is an amazing place if you ever get a chance to visit, or more importantly, if you get a chance to come here and take one of the classes, you really, really should. The sky is beautiful. The fence is beautiful. The fence is beautiful. <laughs> this this gimbal has got a mind of its own. I think it's the wind. That, blame it, let's blame it on the wind. Let's so anyway, wind. we're here today. We hope you enjoy the video and we hope that if you win one of these aprons, you enjoy it too. <laughs> yes, right. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Let's go play with those foam stamps. Let's go play with All those right, foam stamps. All right, let's go do it. I'm going to work with Starry Night Spirals, which is another of the Van Gogh stamps that were released at the same time as the ones Elizabeth used on those freebie aprons that you saw us wearing in, in the introduction. I have a sample here already. These are A7 cards. And on this one, I used uh, Frozen Berries and Ice Queen, and this is the Starry Night Spirals. And you can see that I just created a very simple border around the edge. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I've got a different card front and I'm going to use two of the Amsterdam acrylic paints. And this one is turquoise blue. I can't read this one. <laughs> so it's too dark here. I just can't, and the, the print is so fine, but we're gonna go with the flow. So what I'm going to do is put some of each out and I'm gonna smear it around with my finger because honestly, that's how I like to work. I never feel like, um, you can get out a mini ink blending tool with the foam and apply the paint that way but I have fun getting all painty, so that's kind of what I choose to do a lot of the time. And both of these colors are gonna strongly contrast with this background, so you'll really see the stamp that I actually apply. All right, so let's just kind of spread this out, and this is already pre-mixed with some other colors there. Elizabeth, could you do me a favor? Yes. I need a paper towel, because I forgot I'm, one again. On paper towel duty. Thank you so much. There you go. All right, so now my finger is relatively clean. I'm going to take all edges of this stamp and bring it in. I'm gonna keep turning it. So the first thing I gotta do, well, that's a little weird. The first thing I gotta do is get some paint on here. So you can see I've got some of the dark paint on there. So if we turn this a little bit, I'm all thumbs today. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the paint off my fingers and start stamping. Now I don't want the stamped images to encroach too far into the center because if they do, then I'm all of the stuff that I'm going to put on this card is going to end up covering up all of those stamps. And that's not what I want. So let's kind of do this. And you can see how pretty this design is. And I think we can all agree that we love circulars and even things that are a little bit because of Van Gogh's style. He didn't do really smooth circles. He did kind of herky-jerky circles. And Elizabeth honored that in this particular design and in most of the others too. So let's go ahead with some of this bigger stuff and see if we can bring that in here. Ooh, pretty, pretty. All right, let's take a paper towel. I don't want to get the back of that card covered in paint if I can avoid it. So we'll just wipe that up quickly. And I think I want to grab some of this darker color off my thumb and just do that little image because I like that shape. And then let's go back to this side a little bit and pick up some paint. Whoops, 
So I'm working on a small piece of nonstick craft sheet, which is why it's kind of moving around. Unlike at home, ooh, that's gonna work right there. Unlike at home where my entire, entire tabletop is covered, we don't quite have that luxury here in Sedona, but you're working in Sedona, so it's not exactly a hardship. All right, so now I have this done, and I have a whole group of Art by Marlene elements from the XXL Collector's Book already chosen for this. All I'm gonna do is, I'll, while Elizabeth is doing her part, I'll come in, let this dry, and arrange all that stuff on there, and at the very end, Elizabeth will have some still photos that she'll kind of intersperse so that you can see what the stuff we made looks like. So I am using the foam stamp from the Van Gogh collection called, that is called Starry. And I'm going to be working on a technique that's subtle and takes some practice. So I've uh, done several sheets and I've gotten different results. So you, you have to practice and you have to know that it's not always going to be um, consistent. So what I'm going to be doing is removing paint off the gel plate to create this sort of subtle starry effect with metallics, which is kind of fun. So, and I am working on Joggle's dictionary pages. So I'm using transparent paints so that you can still see the type through the layers. So this will be my base sheet. And here's another one that you can see the metallic and the starry pattern removed from the paint on the gel plate and the dictionary pages. And the last one is the one that I like the best. And so I went ahead and added with the palette knife, a layer of Stickles glitter gel because it's got stars in it suspended in the glitter, our little glittery stars. And I thought that just really added a lovely uh, last layer to this one. So that was fun. And this was my favorite print. So I'm starting out with a layer of uh, pale blue metallic that, uh, like I said, allows the type to show through. And I've got a sheet of my favorite rice paper off to the side because every time I stamp the foam stamp into the plate to remove paint, I'm gonna press it onto this piece of paper off to the side. You want to do that so that every time you bring the stamp back, the surface is clean and it will pick up more paint off the plate that way. So I'm using, um, uh, another transparent paint. This is permanent red violet. And I've used this a lot, so I'm going to shake it, make sure we can get it down at the bottom. And I'm going to brayer that out in a thin layer on half of my gel plate because the paper is not going to fill the whole plate. So... So there's a nice thin layer and I, I'm going to take the stamp and press it into the paint and then transfer it off to the side onto that rice paper. So when I come back again, it's clean and it's picking up more paint. So every time I do that, I'm removing paint in the pattern of the starry foam stamp. So that pattern is on the gel plate. Whoops. And there. And now we're gonna take that prepared light colored transparent sheet and print. And there you can see that beautiful removed paint pattern that allows you to see the type of the dictionary pages still coming through. You have seen us each use, a, a, use the foam stamps with two different techniques. We each filmed a video about the Van Gogh foam stamps when they were new. Go back and check out those videos. Use the techniques that we showed you today. Go have fun with them. Yeah, they are a lot of fun. And we both did previous videos yes, we did. on YouTube about the foam stamps, the Van Gogh. So yeah, check that out. You could uh, have a ton of fun with that. You could go down that rabbit hole. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So goodbye from Sedona. Yes, it was marvelous and just in time because there goes the truck. Ah. <laughs> and we're almost out of the frame. Whoa, there's the fence. <laughs> and Yay! There we are. Oh no! Oh close. Close. Okay. There we are. And cut. <laughs> <laughs>